We live in an immeasurable ocean of energy. Everything, every molecule, every atom is in a state of perpetual motion. Tesla once said, throughout space there is energy. It is a mere question of time before men succeed in attaching the machinery to the very real work of nature. If we continue to rely on fossil fuels and nuclear fission, the world's future is in grave peril. We are reaching a crisis point, and demand for energy has exceeded the carrying capacity of Mother Nature. Most scientists believe that current energy supplies will have fully diminished by 2040. Is this going to be our legacy to future generations? Emerging from the frontiers of science is a pioneering physicist, Maximilian Sykes, who is challenging the way the world thinks about the previously untapped forces of nature. This revolutionary thinking has already earned him a Nobel Prize. He is confronting the accepted wisdom within the scientific community with revolutionary ideas, which hope to be proven with the Fitz-Kamen experiment. Join me on a journey as Professor Sykes attempts to unlock an infinite energy source, creating energy independence for mankind. I arrived at the very unusual home of Professor Sykes on the most important day of his illustrious career the day of the fitz an experiment. This one particular rock began to spin and kept spinning at 1,037 and a third miles per hour, while also spinning around this great big ball of gas that's burning continually. What's remarkable about physics is the truth. The truth is more amazing than, than any tale that they used to tell about all living on the back of a turtle shell. They're wonderful stories, but the truth is so much more amazing. That is the magic of physics. It's remarkable truths. Ptolemy, he thought the universe went around the Earth, something not contested for 1,500 years. The thing is, intellectual brilliance is no safeguard against being wrong. Yes, people will be skeptical because of what happened at CERN with the Hadron Collider. We, on the other hand, have created our own branch of science. We arrived at Spectral Enterprises, where the experiment will take place. Spectral Enterprises is a scientific research centre set up nine years ago in southern England by Professor Sykes to pursue his controversial scientific experiment. After his many successes, it has become the most renowned centre of scientific research in the world. Travelling in an advanced high-speed lift, we travelled 6.4 miles underground. This is to ensure the safety of the local population, as in accordance with the new EU legislation introduced after the disaster in Switzerland. What we are trying to achieve today, in very simple terms, is to observe what happens on, on the very edge of a beam of light. An atom, when it's in transition, emits particles uh, known as photons. It is believed the photon can transform into a particle known as the Cayman particle. If discovered, we will be able to mimic the sun's energy here on Earth. The limitations of our eyes are such that we can only see a, a tiny rainbow band of, of visible light. The cameras we have here uh, are able to observe all frequencies and they can translate that into uh, the visible light spectrum of the human eye. Today will be the sun's biggest solar storm in, in recorded history. We have huge prisms in the Earth's orbit which will reflect the storm's light, directing it down into a, a spectral wave prism absorbers here in the lab. We will then fire the light across the lab and in a zeptosecond our cameras release their shutters, capturing the elusive photon's transforming effect. Our prisms are attached to the International Space Station and I'm in close communication with the astronauts. At 4.12.11 the storm's rays align with our prisms and it's at that moment that I initialise the spectral flux density absorbers. Many of these scientists have devoted eight years of their careers to this one critical moment. The largest solar storm in recorded history.
The teams were in close communication with the astronauts, constantly feeding back information about the solar storm's behaviour. We're getting some abnormal solar behavior. No! What man? What is it? Gasp! 